Gate 14 podcast. The trio is back. The boys are back. JR is back from uh he's a working man. You tip your cap for that. JR's a working man. JR, maybe give us a little public service announcement. How you feeling? What's up? What, what happened last episode? Yeah, uh, I'm feeling good. I mean, I apologize for last episode. I've definitely have better myself from my early days. <laughs> <laughs> I I might have had a 50% appearance rate when we first started. Yeah. Um, but that's kind of why. I have some JR truthers out there because they know they understand, but, but it was a weekday episode and my, my company was up my ass. I don't understand. So RFP. you, your, your job and listen, I'm, I'm not a work guy. Everyone knows mm-hmm. that <laughs> you work like 14 hour days or like, what are you doing? Well, like, it, it's, are you it's, a doctor? It's more like project based. So like, if you have a project and like, they're pitching it tomorrow. Like you can't just be like, I'm done at five. Well, if you do say you're <laughs> done at five, then you're, so go- you're just going to be the elephant in the room. So like the, the pitch was the next day and I didn't feel that good about the deck. So when you don't feel that good about like your reputation's on the line, like if, it, if they pitch it and it's bad, like it's just going to blow. So wait, back you do all the work and then someone <laughs> else pitches it pretty much yeah that's well bullshit. these sales guys well, they, they've developed bullshit. they've developed the relationships right and then that is fucking yeah, i'm bullshit. in the pitch though but like oh, i'm not okay. like i'm not like the guy who's like i'm just the guy well They're i know like, damn well the dudes that are actually pitching it are giving you an ounce of credit to the people they're pitching it to the people they're pitching <laughs> it to are probably like yeah we made this like these guys made this for us and jr was just there and so Look, you're pretty much doing the dirty work what well, a goal, like fuck Arsenal. it's just part of the what game right? so, so you sign up for Right, boys. But I missed the pod, man. I actually listened to uh, most of it. It was a great episode. We were I don't think people it liked it. People didn't like the episode? Yeah. That's Why? fine. What? We're, that's in, that's showbiz, baby. Sometimes you make movies do you people mean? don't like. What did you? Where did you I, I liked it. It was like the most dislikes on a YouTube video. Oh, my got. God. Actually, no, did Trevor, you guys say anything like really fucked? Trevor Bauer kind of got after it. Or, uh, those dislikes were actually better. Than- Wait, well, how many dislikes did we get? Uh, it was like four or five, but you know, those ones- oh yeah, we had so many <laughs> likes though. Those You're ones hit the idiot. hardest, man. No, it's but I want to let you know. Like I want to let you know. Now we are in the tr- we're in like the Trevor Bauer hate business. We're gonna always get people commenting Trevor Bauer stuff on our stuff. Okay, so gonna- no, Johnny, the one guy who was doing that on TikTok is someone I played baseball with, and you always chirp back at him. You you said something about. Uh, getting a player he dm me on instagram just said i'm gonna keep running into this every time because you comment every time on his comments wait what did he say um i don't know it's just always about trevor bauer he every video he no 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 on. no it's not that one it, i'm talking about like the little burner kids accounts that are gonna like continue to comment out on our shit like there's a guy that like will tweet at me and do that like um that'll say like for example the guy that dm me that said like you're a fucking pussy like whatever that's a trevor bauer guy mm-hmm. So, yeah. um, I mean, it's awfully telling of the MLB landscape that no one signed him yet. If he yeah. was that good, and if he you wasn't think? that, if he was that good, and he wasn't that big of a problem, someone would have scooped. Like, Rollis Chapman got another job. Yeah, Chapman got another, but it took a while for Chapman to get that. Sure, it did take a little bit. I I don't know. I think, but there had to have been internal discussions from teams about Trevor Bauer long yeah, before yeah. this. Well, he's gonna yeah. sign with like. Everyone knew that no everyone one knew gives the a Dodgers. fuck about. But I'm telling you, Avery, like with the dislikes, we get a, a lot of likes, so I'm fine with that. But we're going to always be in the business of people hating on us because th- we had a clickbaity title the last episode. Like, what bye bye, title? Bullshit. What was the title? It was bye bye, bye. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It so was probably the always... boat, to be honest, it was probably because some people didn't agree that with your take on the well, boat. I guarantee you, on. no one listened. A lot of people that were on there, like that saw the bye bye, boat didn't listen to the episode. They just disliked it because they thought we genuinely were yeah. saying like trade bow, which is what we weren't saying. Like, we didn't say trade. Yeah. Boba no, I listened point. to your guys start. Yeah. Like we didn't say trade bow mm-hmm. at any point. Like we just made that because him and the Jays were arguing. That's like the, the, a lot of thing about the internet is you got to realize people aren't even going to watch the shit. They're just going to see a title and just find something to uh, be mad about. For example, like a lot of people were coming at me and Avery about like the mental health stuff about the last episode about Mitch White. We weren't saying that. We weren't saying the mental holy, health aspect. Holy fuck, was boys! What the f- like? Well, no, it was, didn't it, it was just episode, one. Co- it like... was just one. Com- it was one comment of a guy that like, he comments on every single one of our videos, like negative shit, like just criticizing us. So I didn't really okay, yeah. offer, respond to it. Or I didn't think his it. comment was that bad. Like he had a valid point. No, maybe, he had a. No, maybe we, we didn't see it through. Properly, maybe we didn't see it through. But I, for example, the part that I was making, like the argument mm-hmm. I was making, was like 
you can't make an excuse of a guy finding a new apartment for the reason why he didn't pitch good. <laughs> yeah, that was the, that fucking, was the main reason the guy made. Yeah, like if you're going through depression and performance anxiety, like those are real. That makes health. sense. Yeah, that yeah. I'm fine. Like if you're doing that, I completely see it. But Mitch White, like first of all, he didn't show any signs of it. Maybe he was behind locked doors. I don't know. But I've heard nothing but good things about like him as a teammate and stuff like that from his Dodgers teammates and stuff. But mm-hmm. the using of the like the getting a new apartment is why he pitched bad. Like what? What? Yeah. What, what yeah are we like I bet you, here? I bet you, Mitch White himself wouldn't want people to like. Like if he pitched Make like shit, like be yeah. be up front with it and like come maybe he comes back this year and he's phenomenal. But like the truth is, is he pitched like ass for us. So like people making the excuse that he came over is just I mean, this these big league players like this isn't like a fucking minor <laughs> league. Some it's sort not of shit. like they're getting the-, the Blue Jays are paying for everything to make this guy comfortable <laughs> for his his move like and literally anything it, he wants he gets and to and mention like, it they have like travel secretaries that just work for the yeah. team that make sure you're accommodated for like it's not like mitch white <laughs> is going out apartment shopping walking mitch, around toronto Mitch white didn't even probably lift a finger for that move <laughs> like they hired a moving team like oh, they yeah, did everything sure. like fully so, furnished apartment like there's no way yeah. he did anything like these exactly. guys live these like these guys live i lives. wasn't knocking like yeah we weren't knocking mental health we were no. knocking using the excuse of him having to move to canada and find an apartment with like a, what is he 17 he's a 28 year old man he's an adult yeah like if, if he's a college kid going to fucking mccook community mm-hmm. college and hit 160 i'm not going to name any names as freshman year maybe he was homesick Maybe that guy was a little 18 yeah. year old, was a little homesick. And let's not maybe, forget that. What about, what, what, let's what not about forget the, that. Maybe the pitcher gave that. up fucking 100 walks mid, in a mid, random school in Kansas and yep, nine ERA. I yeah. want you to address this though, Avery, because Avery has a point to make with his earn run average. There was a misconception, maybe my a freshman year. His oh freshman my, year. Oh my God. This guy, I was like heated when this happened too. So we're playing Upper Iowa, the Peacocks, maybe the worst team name, worst colors, worst logo, in all of Division II baseball. <laughs> First guy, brick shithouse. This guy can fucking hit. Curveball. He hits it right into the dirt to the third baseman. Our third baseman hits his glove. Top of his glove pops his hat off. The guy, the like sports information director is the guy who does the scoring. He doesn't know shit about baseball. He gives it an error. I mean, none of the runs should have scored that inning. I give up like four runs. My ERA is fucking astronomical. I don't pitch for another month. It's just <laughs> an absolute nightmare. And it's just like, fuck you, dude. Like, ruin my ruin my career. <laughs> I would have given up those runs in another outing if I pitched that month, but uh, oh, we'll just keep that going. is very fair. Yeah, that is fair. But they would have come somewhere. Give them a chance is what we're trying to say. Yeah, just kind of bullshit. I gave it like seven singles in a row. That I think that was actually awesome. there was and, and our listeners are very loyal. I want you to look through um, my game logs, uh, my <laughs> sophomore season. I want to say there was a week I went six for nine with like two nuke. It was the most fucked week of my life. Like, Who did you play that week? Okay. So we faced um, two D2 Juco's, but one of them was fourth in the nation. Okay. I hit a ball. <laughs> I will never forget this. I hit a, this is how fucking stupid I was in baseball. So we were facing this D2 school. I played, I remember this guy was on the mound throwing like 89, 90. He threw me an inside fastball. I launched it. There's like a horse stable in left field. I'm a cook, like where the rodeo team was. I hit it off of the roof of the horse stable. Like medieval threw, times, eh? And threw my bat to our <laughs> dugout. I threw my bat to their dugout. And all I remember is my coach calling me over. I was just hyped as fuck. He's like, Johnny, if I ever see you do that again, you're on the first fucking train, not even a flight. You're on the first train back to Toronto tomorrow. I literally <laughs> threw my bat to the fucking moon when I hit this. And I was like scared for my fucking life after it. I was like, I just made a huge mistake. Like I threw it to the dugout. Like, and our dugout's like open. So I almost hit people with it. And I was like, oh fuck, this is bad. That's awesome. Yeah, like that. That was a week that some people are going to never forget. Like, that's going to go down in McCook Community College history of, like, the I think my only good college outing was my first ever one. That's all. My first college hit was a Grand Slam against Cloud Community College. I started out 0 for 11, hit a Grand Slam, and then (laughs) then went 0 for my next, like, 20. Yeah. Cloud County? (laughs) Like, the Thunderbirds or whatever? Yeah, like, they're actually good, too. Like, it was crazy. Yeah. And then I just never, you, there's actually a tweet out there. I'll retweet it tomorrow from gate 14 account. <laughs> um, if you look through my Laurentian stats, the, the Laurentian first year Twitter account, it's just Avery Chenye double Avery Chenye home run Avery Chenye starting pitcher. That was the glory days, but 
we Shenyan forget would have won MVP. But they so didn't. let's address yeah. something else as well. So I made a graphic. Oh, T Mac was heated about this. Why well, was heated about it? That Jr. couldn't get in. Here. I don't have a Jr. mug shot. What am I going to use a fucking selfie of him from Instagram? <laughs> it's supposed the picture was a troll. I, I want to, and people fell for it, rightfully so. They thought I was playing fucking first base and Avery was on the mound. They were like, some people were responding to it. Wait, I thought Freeman committed. Uh, you think? You think Freeman's playing over this four eyed freak at first base? <laughs> I, so I understand. I want to address that. We need a JR picture so yeah. I can start making the jokes. Like, for example, if an outfielder makes an error, I can just say George Springer and right and just post a picture of JR. <laughs> But I need a JR picture. So if someone out there, maybe JR can find me one. Maybe I, I can find one. I, saw, I asked Chris Roach for one, and he sent me a picture of his driver's license. <laughs> so it's just, I, I, if, if, if that's what's going to have to take, it's what's going to have to take. But we need a JR one. We can. Oh, I we took them at Laurentian, but I never saw them up anywhere. There was yeah, none. No, I looked on the Laurentian site before I made that graphic. I was yeah. going to put JR in center, and there was none. Like I searched Jeremy Roach baseball, and the only picture that comes up is that picture of him warming up beside the dugout taking dry <laughs> hacks with his helmet off in Chatham. I got to I got to find there there's a couple good ones. There's one No, I want it like... to be the no, it has to be a terrible. I want it to be the most worst one you could find and just send <laughs> send, send us all send us all of them and we'll pick okay, out of the okay. litter. The but worst I one is that. I do apologize health, for that but I won't apologize cuz T-Mac was butthurt about it. Like T-Mac just fucking just give me NFL picks and just shut up. All right? <laughs> <laughs> but uh let's go into it man the jays talk new dimensions holy fuck 18 feet in right center and i calculated it. the jays would have 45 more home runs if they did that last year you calculated that 45? no i made how that up you... i made that up i was gonna say how the fuck do you calculate that <laughs> i made that up i made it up well you can but, see, uh, you can see the spray charts and stuff i someone did yeah, it though. true I someone saw... did do it i saw that i'm not gonna yeah almost, it's worse for like Jordan Romano gave up so many warning track fly balls last year. And they're yeah. just going to be nukes now. Yeah. In ninth inning. Just... We're, it's not good for our pitching staff. Oh, it's no, like Chris Bassett probably is not good for Manoa. Oh, I have something to say about Alec Manoa. We'll get back into this. Um, he was at FIU where my brother goes to school. Him and Sandy Alcantara threw bullpens at FIU. And the coaches said he looks humongous. Like, as, and I told my brother, I was like, he always looks like that. He doesn't mm-hmm. look any worse than before. So, which Alex is true. Manoa, yeah. He's, I guess he's on the CC Sabathia train of just being a brick shit house and just being really good. Cause I saw some close up videos of Alec Manoa recently this week and he looks humongous. <laughs> he is a massive human being. He they is. have him at 270. The coaches thought he was 300 pounds. Well, I was like, no, he, he's a big boy, but he's not that big. Well, also, like, what really pisses me off is, and JR probably, we all see this on on Twitter and stuff like that, is Yankee fans fat shaming. Like, I know we talk about this Yankee fans continue to call Vladdy a fat slob and, like, Manoa obese. You rooted for CC Sabathia, who had the biggest jersey in Yankees history. <laughs> that is an actual fact. And you call Vladdy and Manoa fat slobs? Yankee fans make me fucking sick. Like, Vladdy answered a question from an eight-year-old, and they they wanted the eight-year-old burned by the stake. They wanted her dead. Who asked that question? The Yankee fans, and they're chirping Vladdy and stuff like that. Like they get, they keep their ears on the streets more than anyone. And I could guarantee you, I tweeted the other day, they are all subscribed to fucking Hustlers University. They're <laughs> all of the Yankee fans' bios are free top G. And what color is your fucking Bugatti <laughs> and shit like that? I mean, Yankee Jared can tell us if them. they're subscribed. <laughs> I'm sure you can look through the list. <laughs> you, you know what, though? Uh, that tour, like, are they playing rock, paper, scissors? And, like, if you lose, you got to go on that tour. Because, like, the <laughs> the the dancing to the Let's Go Blue Jays chant oh. just can't be something that the players are like, yes, let's do it. Chris Bassett, they asked Jordan Romano them. about it, and he's like, yeah, I, I forgot the dance. He's like, no, he didn't forget the dance. He just didn't want to do it. Chris Bassett wanted to kill himself. Yes. He's yeah, massive, yeah, like, by the way. Just like, is he, he a January a Sixer? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. He's massive, I, and he must love to golf because he was wearing like Titleist stuff all. <laughs> yeah, he was time. wearing a new 
uh, golf at like every picture I saw him. Yeah, I couldn't believe how tall he was too. He they're is at, a tall. They were at OBJ yesterday too. You see that? Yeah, you know he's not gonna. You know he's not gonna participate in like the dugout shenanigans. He's just there to work, and he's not gonna like. You're not gonna see him. I hope the home run jacket's gone. I will say that 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 it's was not little... gonna be gone. It's not going to be on. They were Maybe putting on the do home run different. jacket last year when they would be down by five and hit a home run. It's the yeah, most you depressed. Got, no, I'd rather you do it all the time. But if Vlad was the it, one who like brought that, though, right? They was can't the do one? it. Do like a fucking. I don't know what they should do. The like, Red Sox have the best one where they yeah. roll the guy. The yeah, thing. that's it's funny. So funny. Like that's hilarious. The home run jacket is. But like... I'm sure their old fans hate that too. Yeah, they probably hate that. Well, they hate a lot more than just that. Did you? We know, we know so that the, fan base. The weird thing about the Jays winter tour, which other teams don't do, I guess it's a a thing because we're the only team in the country. Mm-hmm. But all the other teams just stay in their city, and people go to like a winter fest, and they hear the GMs talk. Like the Red Sox do it, the Guards do it. So I if they if they went to like the Toronto Convention Center and just had a bunch of players, well, we'd meet. get credentialed. Mm, I don't know about that. No chance. <laughs> well, we, we, we that, need to I look into a, that. Like, I would love we to hear to Ross Atkins that. and Mark Shapiro talk about stuff and like have fans ask them questions. But now, why? Of... Yeah, why don't we do that? Like, there's oh, not it's, really... it's because we're. Uh, I guess it's because what Abe said first. So, like, they got a. But they could have a one grand t- finale. It's their right? one time where they could go somewhere where they never go. Like they, would yeah, never... but they could they would go to Saskatchewan that, and stuff, and like out they, east. But they went to Vancouver. And they went to a place Vancouver. that already has a Blue Jays minor league team. The yeah, Saskatchewan people will never meet a Toronto. If you live in Saskatchewan, we have a couple. I don't know if we have a couple listeners from Saskatchewan on this podcast, but you you might never see a Toronto Blue Jay in person in your life. Yeah, which is a yeah, harsh reality of it. But you might never. The Red Sox one looks sick because fans were just scowling. Time Bloom, whatever the fuck his name was, like that would be hilarious. They booed him when he came out. Like, I wonder what the reaction would be for Ross. I, we're all, we are a really nice fan base, I guess. So I guess it would probably be like, and Ross Atkins is a great offseason, but I would love to hear him describe like a fan question, like why did you pick up Kevin Kiermeyer? What, how, how did that Varsho deal go down? Like, was was Guriel the moving piece that you had to add? Like, I'd love to hear that stuff because we we don't get that from him. Yeah, and then sometimes the media just throws them softballs up there that they don't really have to answer. Tough like questions. Like Jared was asking the like time about Xander Bogarts, which is like a sensitive subject. Like that's mm-hmm. something that'd be cool to hear about. Like why, for example, why are you and Boba Shet like so different? Like what what's the going on with between you guys and Boba Shet? Like a fan ha- would ask that question and they can't say no to that, right? Yeah. So yeah, they, they have, get off. That's that. how they do it. Holy fuck. Oh, yeah, it's cutthroat. The Red Sox one's insane. They were like, dude, I saw a clip of like them explaining their offseason and stuff like that. And the fans were like cheering for some parts and then booing and then cheering and booing. It was the weirdest thing I've ever heard in my life. It was like, I don't know, it was weird. But uh, if the Jays did that, you want to talk about making more money. You know how much money they would make if they did that? Like just buy in tickets. You just buy, like pay to go in and stuff like that. And you would. The players would hate it because they'd have to like take pictures with like a thousand fucking people, but it would make them a lot of money. Kevin Kiermaier is the star of this winter tour. That's for sure. I and, love him. And Jordan Romano, actually. He's been. I wouldn't even really say Jordan Romano. I think Kevin Kiermaier stole. Um, by the way, you Kevin Kiermaier is just a people's type guy. He is a man rock. And you know what I'm saying? And he is the type of guy like JR. He is like a fighter in hockey. Like he's a guy mm-hmm. that you hate to play against. Other yeah. fan bases hate him like a Marshawn. Yeah, but when he's, he's like on your team, you fucking love him. Yeah, that's what Kevin Kiermaier is like. And from an inside source, credit to me, Jordan Luplo told me that Kevin Kiermaier is like an all time locker room guy, like the greatest locker room guy ever. Like he gives post game speeches that just fire the boys up and he likes to get after it, too. That's, that's awesome. great to hear. He, when you, I saw that text that you had sent us and it makes sense. Like I had no reason to like kevin kiermaier before he was a blue jay and then you can't you can't fake the way he's talking right now like that's just who he is pretty yeah. much so yeah no it's been awesome chris bass it seems like a quiet guy who probably won't go on a winter tour again but, um, <laughs> i don't think they have a choice <laughs> he's just the do. tall like, he's just the tall tree that the, just there wasn't tim Mesa there for a little bit it was like Mesa. Yeah, he was there in the Vancouver one. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> dude. That's because they he wants to stay around. That's like for different reasons he's there. The Braves one looks sick. Did you see the Braves one? Like they had no. Matzik throwing BP to kids and shit. Like they had uh, Strider. Um, they let people go on the field and like walk around the field and like meet the players and shit like that. Like that's sick. And I 
We could be wrong. I think the Jays used to do that, though, because I remember seeing pictures of like Jano on the field with people and stuff like that. I don't remember if that's um, a thing, but I do know that for sure. It's something they should do, I think. I would love to ask Ross a question, go toe to toe with him. Be like, listen, man, (laughs) what's going on with Bo? Like, give us a percentage of like if Bo is going to be coming back or not next year. Like, give us like a percentage. We'd have some of those uh, Blue Jays Twitter accounts asking like, about outs above average and weighted runs create a plus up there and Ross would just be like shut the fuck up yeah like he'd be like just shut up nerd I really (laughs) I don't care about that stuff either to be honest maybe I do when it goes towards my my point when I'm trying to make something online but other than that I am but I was go back to the stadium though so man these run these renovations are fucking awesome dude like the fact that there's like three levels i'm pretty sure with like different bar settings like with the top ones like the corona rooftop patio which overlooks the city kind of like you can see the seat the cn tower and like all the like the game and stuff like that and then the 100 level one is like am i wrong it's like over the dugout kind of or the uh bullpen yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. like that's a bad recipe like that is very bad yeah like putting drunk jays fans there is like whoa there's gonna be some drinks thrown guaranteed Mm -hmm. So we, I think a content piece from us would be the first six games of the year we can go to shit face at each of the bars and just, yeah, like, we rate them. Yeah. Like, but, and by the way, for listening to this podcast, you want to be a gate 14 camera guy and you want to just follow us around at games with a camera. I yeah. will, we'll pay for your, t- I'll pay for your tickets, whatever we'll pay. It doesn't matter. We'll figure something out, but we'll get you a t-shirt that says gate 14 on the back video guy. So people <laughs> yeah. just know, don't, don't. Don't fuck with video guy. Yeah, so video, if, you, if that's an application, but you have to be 100% mm. available. Because sometimes me and Avery f- say we're going to go to games like two hours before. We're like, do you want to go to the game tonight? And he's like, all right, I'll pick you up at fucking five. Video guy has to always be available. Video guy has to always be available <laughs> because the vlogs will be so funny. But we definitely have to do that. Like, that's a great content piece. And we will do that the first six games. We'll give the, we'll, we'll get. First six fuck- games we go to. I yeah, will. the first six games we go to, we'll get <laughs> fucked up at the ball at like the each patio and we'll we'll rate them we'll give them like an honest rating there, there should be uh let's do we, it should be a gate 14 bar crawl in <laughs> oh, that would be a, <laughs> like 12 bars at university yeah but you just have you just get a crew and you have to sign up and they pay and it includes like and they a just drink pay us bar. to go to bars that are actually yeah, already we'll in the pay stadium for the drinks but they're actually paying for them but we charge so it includes one drink. No, every they pay nothing. We can't. Make well, by the way, 12 bars is a sham. So you're like, right. We can't have them pay because yeah. then there'll be underage people trying to get in to this <laughs> yeah. bar crawl. That will be bad. It'll be like be just liable. like a unplanned. Like, we'll just be like tomorrow's a ball bar crawl. We'll meet yeah. you at the first bar. Yeah, I we'll think like a Thursday inning. night we yeah. do a bar crawl at the stadium. That we'll would be there go. for the first three innings. And then mm-hmm. we'll meet you like second deck for the next three innings and in the, the Corona rooftop. And by the way, that Corona rooftop looks fucking awesome like imagine well, look, watching it, a playoff a game up one. there yeah i don't know how it's gonna be like you think uh, it'll be it's gonna be like the flight I mean, deck it's gonna be first come first yeah. serve and if you if you get off i guarantee you if you get on a saturday like let's say middle july if you get out of your table or seat that shit's gonna be gone yeah. in like two yeah. minutes yeah. not even oh yeah flight deck is gonna look like shit compared to these other <laughs> no places. one's gonna flight that's gonna be like flight what I think they, made, they made it like a jamaican style thing um the flight deck like all the food and stuff they're serving, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, really? Like the Michael Scott feeling hot, hot, hot. No one <laughs> the knows, flight no one deck, gets that, the uh, flight hopefully deck more is, authentic uh, than that. <laughs> the flight deck is kind of shit. Uh, in what? In what? Sense? Like it's just not open. Like it's not open concept. It's just like halls that you're standing in. True, but you that's know? what happens like, when we have a shitty building. Like that yeah, doesn't. Yeah, help you it. think that's good, and then you you start to get these open concept bars. So do you think, straight. Johnny? I was I forget who I was talking to this about. Um, do you think they sell standing room only tickets for if we make it to the playoffs for those bars like they did Fuck. in Cleveland? They have that's a good point. They have to, right? But I we think could, we could actually put more people in the building. I know that, that I think that's a loophole that the that Jays fans don't realize. Like, yes, we're losing like seven percent capacity or whatever it is, but we're gonna be able to gain a shit ton because you could just standing room throw people into where they're not gonna mm-hmm. be able to see shit, but call it standing room and just pack the fuck out of it. Yeah. I think that's what they're gonna do because um that'd be cool. I mean, it would suck the fact that you wouldn't be able to go up there if you don't have tickets, but I guess you'd have but tickets it's for playoffs, it's different, right? But I but I guess you'd be able to have tickets for like the, the tables, like, right. Like you can only send, sell a certain amount of tickets for the tables yeah. and there would be like standing room areas, yeah, but I'm excited. Cleveland, dude. Cleveland, they'd have, they had, wasn't really a bar, 
but they had like rows with um like barriers in front of them and they had seat like yeah right in seats. front of it which yeah. was sick actually because you could just fit way more like, you can fit a lot of people doing that yeah um yeah. so i man these dimensions are crazy like the bullpen elevated is the having the away bullpen elevated especially during playoffs is going to be really bad for the opposing yeah. team <laughs> I mean, yeah, the Yankees have that kind of as well. No, right? the Red Sox have that, not the Yankees. The Yankees kind of secluded. Yeah, it looks really close to each other, like the yeah. fans and the bullpen. <laughs> it should be because they don't have much again, room to play play with. Someone made this point. It might have been Johnny or someone else on Twitter. Lourdes and Teoscar are trying to <laughs> roam the outfield with walls that aren't cookie cutter perfect walls that might have bad bounces off off of them would be a nightmare, I believe. It would be maybe the worst thing to ever see. Well, so. they couldn't play outfield with straight walls. Like yeah, I, exactly. Like <laughs> Kevin Kiermeyer, I don't think I think Jays fans don't realize how good this dude is. Because and by the way, he just got hip surgery, so he has like fully health. That's what Lupo said to me. He's like, I'm excited to see how he plays fully healthy because last year he was playing injured. He had a, he just got hip surgery, so. Man, he is going to be roaming that outfield, and I guarantee you that first like crazy catch he makes, we're going to be like, oh. This is this is why we got him, and this yeah. is why Tay Oscar's mm-hmm. not here, and this is why Guriel's not here. But man, like that right center alley for Varsho, like he hits a lot of he hits a lot of pull side home runs. That is going to be like he might hit thirty this year. Yeah, I think Belt. I think that. Like, oh yeah, puts Belt like thirty. Like this guy's going to be a fucking three fifty seven right center for Belt is going to be who's that's who's, nothing. But even yeah, even Bo, Belt with no shift too, like. There is like, I think Belt could be one of the most underrated signings. Yeah, because they said he's gonna give give him DH. Yeah, like, like they said that like, he's gonna play a shit ton at DH and like based off the d- new dimensions and no shift, like he's he's bound for like a fucking huge year. But even so Bo, get, even Bo and Vladdy when they yeah. when they go yeah. Oppo to that, they're they're not usually gonna go Oppo. Um, when they hit it hard, it's going to be in the air, but it'll be right center. It's not going to be mm-hmm. right field down the line, right? So yeah. it gives them a better opportunity to hit some nukes. As well, well, let me give you an example. For example, like, I can't see this shit. Oh, fuck. So um, Brandon Belt played in San Francisco last year. Right center was 421 feet, dude. 421. And he's going now to 357 of 64 foot different <laughs> right and about gonna have it right That's center fuck. they showed the someone you guys probably saw the list of like people on new teams home run differential yeah, i i liked that on twitter that, that list was, was, that was flawed, funny though was it yeah well the only one that was bad was um Guriel. yeah yeah that one was wrong he said it was it was wrong the uh, moreno one it. also like it does i don't know if he had enough ABs to be considered. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What? You, how many home runs do you have with the Jays? None. He had. No, yeah, he didn't have, have one. He had one. Yeah. He had, okay, like, yeah. How the fuck Matthew Davis. Um, it's in my bookmarks, not my likes. Um, yeah, a couple of the best guys, Brandon Belt, Dalton Varsho, are up there. Two of like the top five mm-hmm. players going to new hitter friendly parks, and then T. Oscar. He has second last. Lourdes fourth last, and Moreno fifth last. So interesting it should help and i don't was that before the dimensions were released as well no that was after okay hey do you have uh kevin kiermeyer's uh road splits i wonder if uh yeah i can get those pretty easily i know he breaks at the rogers center that was one of the like the things that everyone was saying like oh well, shit but the they always talk about the lighting a, at the yeah, yeah the trop they hate willie adamas had to leave tampa mm-hmm. because he could not see the baseball he's just like i, I don't want to play here anymore okay away he hit 44 points better on the road. Really? Jesus. Wow. So he hit like what? 250, 260 ish? Well, we can do career because he's always played for the Rays, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Um, oh, actually, he hits better at home. Than okay. Home By one average point, but more home runs on the road, um, less RBIs. Okay. So oh, he got yeah. used to it. Yeah. yeah. No, dude, this. Is it crazy to say, like, maybe I'm just because I just love Toronto Blue Jays, obviously. I, this is the most excited I think I've ever been for a season. I think it's just like a combination of a lot of things. The new uh, renovations have been so extreme. I didn't think they'd be that. I didn't think it was going to be done this fast. I, I thought it was like a three year thing. Yeah, I but, thought so too. I don't know what the next steps are because I thought 
oh, maybe it's like the second level and the first level new seats. Okay, for, yeah. For the next okay. years. But I, would, I thought I it was like a phase every plan. seat has changed in the first level. Yeah, they will. No, the Wait, 500 level. At JR. 500 level. Oh, Correct. 500 level. So I think they'll change every year. Like next year, yeah, they'll work okay. on the 100 level seats. Those seats, the people are so mad. There's no cup holders. Didn't They've we never have had cup, cup holders, holders in the 500s? They've never had cup holders. Yeah. yeah. So why are the people seats mad are now? way uh they look like Cleveland Guardians. They look like progressive field seats, Dave. Like those yeah. are the exact same seats. Really? Like it's like the ones with like the lines in them and stuff. Yeah, it looks like a minor league park. Yeah. Seats. But mm-hmm. maybe I don't haven't seen that many parks. So maybe every park has that. But aren't they doing bleachers in the outfield now? Are they? I saw something about No, that. the pictures look like bleachers, but I think someone just... wrote someone wrote bleachers in a tweet. With I think they're still like working on it. I think they're just building the structure because I did see that too, and it looked like bleachers, but I don't think they're actually doing bleachers. <sighs> Could you imagine they just do the old park bench style, like just fucking? That wow. would be actually a that would be that'd be. An you could get one. way more people in there. Like I'm, the Michigan yeah. game, I t- I'm telling you what that that stadium is not a hundred thousand people that's supposed to be there or <laughs> whatever. Because the me and Avery were borderline like, if we didn't have if I wasn't bigger than the person beside me, it would have been an issue. Yeah, because you you make your own room in those stadiums. Yeah. And we had people in front of us like standing in front of each other. Yeah, it was it was nightmare fuel, like the worst experience. Like that was terrible. But yeah, no, dude, this Rogers Center is going to be fucking crazy. Like I, we have to go to opening day, right? Like I, I just I want to be one of the first people to see it. Like I want to see what it's like. Like. Yeah, I we have to go there. It's gonna be. I'm a, yeah. I'm a midweek guy. You guys know I'm a midweek guy. I don't like when it's so well. Opening all days the time. on a midweek though. Yeah, we did. We did opening day last year. And that was awesome. But like middle of the summer, first base side or third base side when the sun's just beaming down on you, the worst yeah. experience of my life. Maybe yeah, the worst viewing experience in all of baseball. I remember I went to a game last year. Amir got me tickets like ten rows behind the dugout, and I was like, I'm sorry, but like. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm standing up this entire game behind like the fucking ledge. But yeah, dude, the Jays play, uh, how many straight away games? Holy oh, fuck. I also saw, um, did I send you guys that article about how like the new schedule will help teams? No, it's good. Like it helps. I like all, what they're doing though. Eh? It helps the all the AL East. Yeah, it does because we don't have to, like Jays not to face the, the Yankees and the Orioles and the Rays a thousand fucking times. It's 24 less games against well, them. Even though the Red Sox were free wins this year, that was kind of nice. Yeah, but now like the Jays home openers against the Tigers who are terrible. Yeah. And then like, I don't know. It's definitely, in my opinion, I think it's going to be way better. Like just way easier schedule. Like they play and the you, Pirates. And you want to see other teams. Yeah, right? I think it's cool. Like that other team, like teams we don't get to see often will Dude, this schedule the like the jays start off with 10 straight home games and the home and the home openers on a tuesday hey we're definitely going to that and jr if jr can get off work but we don't know what the <laughs> jr's work schedule is no i thought we like started seven. in st louis to start the year no i'm saying like opening uh like mm-hmm. home opener okay so it's, it's midweek louis against then. the detroit tigers what the fuck <laughs> a tuesday against the tigers is opening day that's gonna be sucks. electric Dude, yeah. So I'm fired up for that uh, St. Louis road trip. That's going to be sick. But man, we're actually like, I know we do a count on our, we're getting so <laughs> fucking close, man. I saw like, it was 69 <laughs> days till opening day kind of recently. So like, we're getting really fucking close. Like, February 16th, pitchers and catchers report. And then we got the World Baseball Classic, which is going to kind of take our mm-hmm. eyes off of spring training, which is going to be sick to watch. By the way, well, Josh we can Naylor. see like if Barrios is playing in that and he pitches well. That's yeah, awesome. that will be good. That will be yeah, good to watch. Really Ava, good. are you uh, going down? Are you our scout for that? Or World Baseball Classic? I'm going to go to Miami. Yeah, so... I thought you were going to Miami, and that's where it is. Um, Canada's playing in Arizona, though, right? Yeah, that's far as fuck from Miami. So, but isn't, I was isn't there games in Miami? You got to go watch Burrios. Is he yeah, playing in Miami? Hopefully, Avery like... can scout Burrios. See, yeah, like we, the... need you, we need you to just have your phone out and just on him. Okay. Yeah, no, I'll definitely do that. Dude, this is... But that's in the I... middle of fancy baseball season. I said I wouldn't take that month off. Oh, yeah, fuck. I cannot fucking off. wait, boys. This is going to be fucking electric. The this Canada is... team is going to win zero games. Oh, no, we're so bad. stop it. We got to talk about that, by the way. Josh Naylor, what the fuck, man? What the fuck, Josh? He's bowing out of playing for Team Canada. Yeah, we need him. Man. I thanked him for his service before. We don't have Votto. We don't have... Fuck Joey Votto. Team Canada is going to be terrible. They're going to be yeah. so bad. Like, is Zach Pop? Did he put his name in yet? 
I think so. I think Zach Pop, Matt Fest is out of the bullpen. Um, I swear Fest is playing for Italy. Or Italy, sorry. Why did I say fucking Canada? Yeah, Fest is Are we just going to have to cheer for Italy? They're that bad? I'm cheering for Italy. That's my team. Canada's plus 6,000 to win the tournament. They might yeah. not win it. They should be plus 6,000 to win a game. Oh, fuck, boys. This is a bad team. You and oh, USA might beat Canada 17 to 1. Yeah. Ooh, we have win totals. What's the win total? For the Jays, 93 and a half. Yeah, we, we talked yeah, about we that. Went to, we went over Did that. we? Okay. Yeah. Rays, 88 and a half. The Red Sox, 76 and a half. Orioles, 77 and a half. And then where are these Yankees? They don't even have Yankees up here. 94 and a half. Okay. Yeah. But uh, I think this team can win more games than last year. I mm-hmm. think it's going to be the best J- hot takes. It's going to be the best Jays team in 15, 20 years. Most complete Jays team. And Romano was even talking about it. He's like, this outfield is going to be good. Like, it's going to be a good outfield. Mm-hmm. Like, he's pumped for it. So, like, we don't have to score as many runs now because we ha- we can play defense. And we don't have guys running the bases that just, like, have no fucking clue. Maybe Vladdy a little bit. But no idea what the fuck's going on. No yeah. idea. Yeah, this so, team. So, I think it's taken away uh, a lot of at-bats for Kirk and Jano. Or That's what I was about to say. Yeah. I was about to say that. We're, we have to get used to Jano or Kirk playing like. I think it's actually a good thing for be, Jano. Yeah, for I think it's a good thing. Mm-hmm. So injured. Um, if he can stay healthy for the full year, it helps the team mm-hmm. so much. Brandon yeah. Belt's going to be the everyday DH, in my opinion, I think. Well, I, yeah, think, I, Jan- think, so I think Jano should play against lefties as the DH, maybe. Yeah. And then uh, we'll look at, let's look at Jano's splits as well. Yeah, I think they're also like protecting themselves. Because Kirk has a shit, like some people like, haven't really thought about this, but if Kirk has got awful this year, like we need some sort of protection, like, and that's where they like, we belt is huge, right? Like if Kirk's oh. playing like shit, then we're, we're completely fine at this point. The roster's prepared for that. Yeah. Like it's better to, we never had anyone. We didn't have any bad off the bench last year. Like we didn't have one pinch hitter that could come up and hit. Danny Jansen is not good against lefties. So he will not be DHing against lefties. <laughs> Kirk can yeah. though. He hits 195 against lefties in his career. Oh. Rostin, look at that, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Well, you gotta look at look at last year though. Last year was like just as bad. Well. Yeah, yeah. we'll see. This year, honest. man, I am like I said, dude, I am so fucking fine. By the way, um 226 against lefties last year, 272 against righties, though. And by, can someone for the love of God, like we had like 10 graphic designers messages. Can someone please make a Yusei Kikuchi with a rocket arm cartoon picture for us? We'll give you the free shirt. I, I need that more than air. I am so all in on Kuchi. I found his like random Japanese Jersey. Mm-hmm. That's going to be electric. But, Did you uh, buy it? No, I, it was like in like, I don't know what, what's the currency called in Japan. I don't know what it is, but it was in that. So I don't know like what the actual just, price was. Just look on, uh, they might sell them on DH gate. No free ads, but yeah, DH gates, the, mm-hmm. the plug. But the, I actually, I, I still have like PTSD from the TikTok comments, making fun of me for wearing a fake Jersey for the full Jersey game. So I still have PTSD um, from that. Yeah, no, that's fine. But if you get like an international Jersey, people can, you can tell right away at a blue Jays game <laughs> by the back numbers. If it's real, it's, yeah, picture. it looks like a bubble. Like the, yeah. the numbers are like bubbly. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's so what I, you can tell. Good. So I was, I was I mean, a big fake Jersey guy. I love them, but I'd always do like, classic old school ones not like a current leafs jersey or a mm-hmm. current jays jersey i just wouldn't do that that wasn't for me because yeah I... and the, and like the real jerseys look so much better like yes. when we sent that kid the boba shet jersey I, he I forgot us, we did that yeah he sent me a picture of it i was like this jersey fucking rules yeah like, th- this looks like believe... legit i can't believe we did that no, Bradley was... zimmer's mom followed us on twitter by the way really yeah, do, we, do, do we know if it wasn't a burner no, it was her like his mom. She was sending high school pictures of Bradley Zimmer in the uh on her profile. What's up? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, no, I was mean. He uh, played water polo in high school. Shout out. Well, he was probably a beast. He's an athlete. Yeah. Dude, if I get a Bradley Zimmer USA jersey, you get a Kikuchi uh like Japan jersey, and then Jer gets a Mitch White uh <laughs> USA team nah, Italy. Maybe, maybe wherever he went to college. And then we yeah. show up, that would be electric. Yeah, Dude, we, we just get the three most absolute character jerseys. And we'll I hate that Zimmer's game. not on the team anymore, man. Me too. Know, whatever. It's actually I mean, kind of a good no, thing. He actually has no spot on this. It's team. kind of it's kind of a good thing. But why is it a good thing? 
because he's ter- like literally one of the worst players I've ever seen. He'll be life. better, man. <laughs> he's going to be better. He actually can't hit a fucking baseball. Like, hey, if we could put you up there and you could probably compete better than him. He's like, I com- he's like a guy I'd you sw- put in when it's 15 to one just for shits and gigs. He's like, he's like the kid you let score a touchdown in high school. James D. Rose. <laughs> James D. Rose, legend. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's going to be, man, this is this is going to be maybe my favorite season. And by the way, I've seen a lot of Jays. Like I saw, I'm not going to name the name, but I saw a J, like a Jays podcast talk about like the idea of trading Matt Chapman. If you have ever Why thought about, tra- if you have ever thought about the idea of trading Chapman because the Jays can't afford him, you are as dumb as a fucking boxer off. That is like the Houston Astros who had Verlander for one more season saying, if he's having a really good season this year, we know he's not coming back. Let's trade Verlander at the deadline. That the point they were making was if if Chapman is an MVP candidate can, candidate by the All Star break, the Jays should trade him because they can't afford him. What? No, that's I mean, what the sense. fuck sure. are you talking? If about? If you're the Pittsburgh Pirates, that makes a lot of sense. But you're not if this, you're a team competing. Yeah, for the World Series, like yeah. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it was just the dumbest thing. I was like, oh, okay, so every World Series team that has guys that are on their last year of their deal, they should just trade them. Like, just that's it. Sorry, man. I know we're good. And I mean, if the Jays are thirty games under five hundred, which I swear yeah. to God, they better not be. Yeah, that's when you do that. They'll oh. they'll try. They'll try and they'll try and get Chapman back. I mean, of course they will. But but um, his agent's Boris, so there's not gonna they're not oh, gonna be doing fuck. But I could see Chapman like if you're if the Jays have like a stellar season, fucking then I think Chapman will want to stay in Toronto. I feel like he's comfortable here. By the way, this uh, Matt Smitty 2-7 guy tweeted at us, um, the Jays starting lineup, and I got rock hard looking at it. <laughs> George Springer, that. Bichette, Vladdy, Kirk, Varsho, Chapman, Belt, Merrifield, Kiermaier. Uh, I love, I love, I don't know why, I guess my juice is flowing. It's just a new, brand new player up at the plate. Like just fucking, <laughs> it gets my juice. Like I remember when we got uh, the deadline, like the deadline that just is known as the staple deadline for the Jays. But like I remember the David Tulo, Price, yeah, like Price on the mound for the first time, Tulo hitting for the first time. It just awesome. Yeah, we're gonna true. make a huge fucking deadline trade, guys. Yeah, like no, we have guaranteed. money to spend, we have prospects to give. Yeah, like we are like. Dude, it's gonna be fucked. I don't even know what they're trying to cook up, but this sh- kudos to this management team because they've done some fucking damage. We also got to talk about our first baseman talking about like m- this was the trailer movie, and then you got Brandon Belt saying the Jays should be World Series favorites. Like, I'm on a different side. Of that? I like it. I'm yeah. on it. I don't really care. Yeah. I think it's good, man. Like the veteran. I just in don't and want fucking that. old takes exposed clipping because I love this oh, team so it. much. I just don't want clickbait. He's not and, wrong though. No, but he's but he's trying to he's trying to come in as a veteran and be like it should be like the expectation should be World Series. Like you guys like thinking like getting making it to the first round of playoffs is is good. Like that shouldn't be good anymore. Like that's the mentality that this Jays team needs to have this year is like we should be competing for a world series like this whole like we competed in playoff shit is is over with like that's what he's coming in with and that's probably what management told him it's like we need you to be like we need you to shape up our young guys as like a guy who's won a world series like he's just coming in and it was a i would have loved i love it i love to love like nelson cruz on this team as well dude just he signed the, for like nothing i know he just really another did. vet who signed for fucking nothing? I don't care about the numbers. I'm pretty sure he signed for a mil. Yeah, he signed for the minimum. Really? Yes. He signed for a mil. Yeah. In the Padres, right? Yeah, Padres. A mil. Like, there's oh still God. one move for the Jays to make. Have I showed gross. you that yeah, Fernando gross. Tatis Jr. video, Johnny? Did I send that to you? The which one? Uh, I mean, I can't really say it out loud, but <laughs> you'll you'd know if I had sent it to you. Oh yes, yes, yes. I yes, <laughs> yes. I. I wish you didn't say that because I just put it back in my mind. Yeah, no, that's um, something you could never forget. Yeah, it's one of the weirdest videos I've ever seen in my life. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's just it's terrible. It's a really bad video. But so a couple more things I wanted to talk about. So I want Robbie Grossman by the next time we have yeah, this podcast. I love it. I love that addition to this team. So the for fact me, that he's not signed yet, like what the fuck are we? He's waiting? only, well, he's only asking Duvall. for look seven, at, eight mil. Look at where Duvall signed, though. It's some he wants to play like. Robbie Grossman wants to play as well, right? Like, he, if you sign here, you know. Are you going to tell your kids that you played or you fucking won a World Series with the Toronto Blue Jays? But, Abe, he's, got, but I, Abe, he's going to play. 
Like it's not but like, like Adam Duvall. You know he's playing center yeah. field now for the Red Sox. Fuck, like that's that's, bad. that's why Kutch went back to Pittsburgh. Look at the two guys we thought we could get as a fourth outfielder. They're in the same headspace. I want to go play. McCutcheon saying that he like he believes in Pittsburgh is maybe the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, that's that was but, fucking brain dead. That was dumb. But that's fine. Like he loves like, Pittsburgh. I, he's going back, and he can depends help. Depends on how old is Grossman. Because it just depends on the mindset, usually, right? Like Bellinger wants to prove himself. I get it. These guys want to prove themselves, but I'm trying to see how he's got to be like 30, 31, probably. No. 33. So that's where my point is here is like if you're Grossman, you really haven't made much money ever. You never really got a big contract. I think if he could if he gets seven, eight mil for a year to be like the guy who gets to only play in favorable position, like he's only gonna play when like it's in a position where like he's really good at. I think he still sets some sets himself up to get Robbie a good Grossman's contract. only been good for one year ever. That's why he's an off the bench guy. He should expect yeah. to be off. He the should bench. be. He is a bench piece. Like he's always oh my, been a his bench 2021 piece. was so good. 23 bombs, 20 stolen bases. Yeah, he was fucking really good that year. I mean, that was an outlier year, but he was so uh know his way to runs created plus uh that's the shortened season. We need to get him, Ave, and he's only gonna cost eight mil. I dude, I, I'm ha- I'd be happy to give him any money in the world. Uh, like, don't mind <laughs> or that. Ian Happ but, at the deadline. I okay, if we get Ian Happ, you know how happy I'd be. He's my, <laughs> my favorite player. Ian Happ can play infield, right? Ian Happ can do anything. Because he could play second base for us. Yeah. yeah. That probably decreases his value if he goes on the market. But mm-hmm. um doesn't matter if he's on the team. We play him wherever the fuck we want. To be yeah. honest, though, Ian Happ's stats suck. All like, right. I don't even think he's that good. Don't say that. You don't believe that. Have this you about, looked at his stats? About, yeah, I with my hands over my eyes. I don't care. He's fucking Disavow. Good. Disavow. We um, runs create a plus of 120 last season. You're gonna tell me that's bad? No. He had 271. He was fucking sick last yeah, year. Oh, last year. Okay. Yeah. No, we'll see. We'll see. Year. So, anyways, anyways, anyways. Any, but- anyway, so one thing is, is like a lot of people. Like one thing I'm fired up, fired up about is we have Jr. dealing with the merch aspect of things yes, coming into yes. this year. Mm-hmm. We are gonna. I. This is a Johnny June to guarantee. We will have a website that will yeah. allow you to buy Gate 14 <laughs> stuff whenever you yes. want. Yes, no more yes. of this fucking like you can only get it for two weeks stuff. Whenever you want, you will be able to buy gate 14 stuff. So JR is mm-hmm. going to be handling that aspect of it. Yep. it's going to be electric. And I've seen some and we've talked about some of the ideas and designs and shit we have. We will still do exclusive drops like with the, with the mm-hmm. players and stuff like that. But there's going to be access to you guys being able to get um, gate 14 stuff whenever you can afford it or whenever you want to. So that's going to be fucking awesome. And I'm pumped for it. So we're already getting ahead of that right now. So, yeah, we had a meeting talk to the guy johnny had a text chain with them but we're working on some cool things man and it's going to be some it's going to be some top of the line shit and there's no good. other fucking blue jays podcast doing this shit you no, think no. thick jesus shirts were draw from other blue no. jays podcasts fuck no yeah. and by the way i just wanted to give a, a thank you to all the listeners man the numbers of this podcast the last like two weeks or three weeks have been fucking crazy so the support has been I love you guys. Obviously, man, this is great. Like, tell your tell your mothers about this. Pod. Tell everyone about. It. Tell everyone at your school about it. The gate fourteen. Tell your mothers. Tell your sisters. We're not even a year boyfriend. into this motherfucker. Well, our first episode was dropped a week before the season last wow. year. That's when we had the giveaway. Maybe we should actually. No, we shouldn't. We're we're actually uh, guys. I'm constantly getting a gate fourteen top two. <laughs> to be up front, we are actually uh, as you the know. finance guy. We're actually losing money from this podcast. So. <laughs> That one of our yeah. goals is to break even this year. Um, so that's we why have lost money. We've lost oh, a lot on of the money. books speaking with the Jesus, merch. Probably the a couple thousand Jesus dollars debate. we've lost for the people, though. We've, we've lost money for the people. That's what we're yes. trying to say. Yeah. So, like, what we're I, trying to say is like, when we believe in this shit, we truly do. We love this shit. And we love you guys. So, yeah. But, it's gonna be electric. I, I can't wait for like some of the nicknames we're gonna be coming up with this year with the shirts. Uh, like, the you say. Like I said, I'll say it again. The graphic designers. I need a Yusei Kikuchi with instead of a left arm, it's just a rocket of him throwing. And that we need someone to step break up. the internet. We need one of our graphic designers to step up and take on this role. We need a cartoon, though, with the Jays mm-hmm. logo gone from his hat because I don't want to get sued by fucking Ted Rogers. Rest in peace. But uh, <laughs> getting yeah, sued get- would actually fucking put us under. 
No, you 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 won't be able to stop. <laughs> Imagine me. the gate fourteen boys in court over a fucking t shirt like that. Issue. That picture would go so hard of us in court, though. <laughs> yeah, like a like a like a young thug. Yeah, like, it's like all of us standing in suits, and then like it's just a TV screen, and we're looking at the evidence, and it's just our t shirt. I know someone's done this before, but we sh- once if the Jays don't resign Vlad. We should go into Rogers headquarters and no, we will be doing that. No, I'm making that clear. The Jays don't sign Vladdy. I will be storming the capital (laughs) of Rogers center. (laughs) No, I'll be very clear with that. He he is a blue Jay for life and that I will want him a blue Jay till he's a hundred. But anyways, man, we're recording. So we're recording this before the football games. Let's give a little prediction. I'm going to say bills don't cover. I'm going to say bills don't. So congrats to the Bengals for covering, but losing. And congrats to the Cowboys for winning outright against the Niners. Congrats to both those teams. I like the Cowboys too, but everyone seems to like the Cowboys. Yeah, dude. There's, a, I mean, Johnny loves the Cowboys. Okay, Before well, you were let's on think here. of this. Let's talk this out loud. The Cowboys' best pressure rate in all of football. Brock Purdy hasn't faced fucking anyone. He's yet. faced the fucking Division Two NFL teams his entire career so far. Yeah, and he. Well, I hope the- we get old takes exposed for this. That'd be hilarious. Oh, but that'd be very funny. I, I'm not a Brock Purdy guy, so Max I Struz- think. Max Drew's PRAs today, by the way, for your rant. okay. Everyone listening, Max Drew. Oh, never mind. That'll, that'll you won't me. hear that, but I might be broke tomorrow. So okay, yeah, yeah. Keep riding my soccer picks, by the way, people on Twitter. I'm on the biggest heater of my life, so stay tuned for that. Uh, Jr., who do you think? What do you think we got here? I mean, I love the Bills. I mean, it's it's pros versus Joes. That's what they're saying right now. <laughs> pros are on the on the Bills, and the Joes are on the Bengals. So I got a little teaser going. Teaser. Yeah, Bengals money line over 42. I know T Max on the under, but fuck them. Why would you take Bengals money line? No, no, no. I'm taking Bills money line. Okay. Teased it Bengals. down. Teased it down. Bills money line and over 42 in the game. I took the over 38 and a half and the under 52 in a parlay. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Hey. That's that the is dumbest such thing I've heard you, in my life. Like, you don't even, like, that's just like a sweat the entire game because, like, you don't even know. Fucking right. So it is. <laughs> fucking right. <laughs> You sick fuck, man. All right. As always, though, we do love you guys. I'm contemplating doing if we if I might do it middle of next week. If we get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube, I might get a gate 14 tattoo. I'm thinking I'm talking about it for weeks. It's it's no more fucking rumpus time. I need to I need to nut up and do it. I'm here in 70 days till opening day now. So this is uh, (laughs) this is just crazy. But whatever. Love you guys as always, man. Gate 14 to the fucking moon. The support has been crazy and uh, we're not done. We're not even a year into this. Maybe we'll do something for our year birthday because I don't even know what, what day it is. We got to actually go back and find out when that was. But yeah. love you guys. Gate 14 to the moon. Have a great rest of your week. 70 days, which means seven. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> don't care about how many episodes. That's 10. Open. That's like about 10 episodes. About 10 episodes opening day. Let's fucking go, man. We're getting close. This We're closest we've ever been to opening day right now. Facts.